I'm exhausted. Hiya, welcome back to the channel. Um, today, back on the Shitrin. And the reason why we are on to the Shitrin today is because, as you've probably just heard, it's been a noisy shitter. And the reason for that is, well, this is gonna be another exhaust video. Sorry about that. Um, recently, well, actually not, not recently, originally, the, one of the first videos I made was fitting that shitter under there and if anyone's watched that video i used the old exhaust and just butchered it together in a rather elaborate way to use the bike exhaust on the chitron and then i put a decat on it and i didn't change the center pipe and then this bit now was rotten since so also more recently we did this which is now given up and we fit the chrome tape which is fucked off. So now it sounds like a bag of shit again. So in this video, the plan is, is to redo this exhaust and make it better than it ever was, hopefully increasing power dramatically. And the engine note will be just amazing. So first, before I do that, I need to take the shitter off. And to remove it, it's quite simple. Although I'm doing it on the floor, so it could be a little bit of a struggle, but if we go under there, there's a clamp which joins the back box to the new section that I replaced in the other video. And um, it's got 30 millimetre, 30 millimetre nuts on it, which I'm going to undo. But a ratchet won't fit, so I'll have to use a Spaniel Jackson. Because of, in my case, you might not have the same problem as this, but due to the sexual orientation of the clamp, the ratchet won't fit on. So I'm going to carry on doing these. I won't film this bit because it's quite boring. And this video is probably going to be boring enough without filming every bit of bit of content. So now the clamp is removed. Now this sometimes does stick together quite badly. Something to watch out for if you are changing an exhaust, but mine seems to be moving okay. So next, I need to reposition myself around the rear of the car and disconnect these exhaust hangers which do sort of just pull off but I might need to wrestle with it a little bit and use both hands to do but that needs to slide off of that bit there which I'm not going to be able to do with my left hand so you're not going to be able to watch it unfortunately yes and now that is removed successfully and now it's off I can make an attempt at repairing it. And what am I going to use to repair an old shit exhaust? Well, the answer is another old shit exhaust. This is actually off a VTR 1000 motorcycle. So obviously the quality and, and the performance gains, it will be as fast as a VTR 1000 motorcycle when I fit it. There's no two ways about that. What am I going to do? Well, this bit, I did actually try and buy they do sell exhaust on eBay aftermarket ones, which have this bit separate to this bit, like a can that joins together. I messaged the seller, not very helpful. Wouldn't sell me just that bit. So that leaves me just having to bodge it, scrap with scrap. So anyway, right, this is the bit that's fucked. One of the bits that's fucked. And this bracket, although it's all rusty and probably about to fall off, hasn't fallen off yet. I'm gonna try and keep that as it is to make this as easy and simple as possible. I'm gonna cut that there to here i'm going to replace that section because that's what it's got and as i explained in the video when i fitted this which has held up quite well actually um this um the reason for that is because that seems to be the lowest point um obviously that is all rusty as well but it does seem like it is at least solid so but before i start cutting it up and fucking it about i need to make some kind of template so that i know that it's going to be roughly welded in the right place i mean like i said roughly welded in the right place And as you can see, I've drawn all the way around it and I've marked, you know, places like this where that sits and, and shit like that. And of course, now it is impossible to do it wrong. So I need to cut that out of the, that bad section. 
So I need to cut that bad section out of that not quite as bad section. For which I'm going to use my hair saw. Usually reserved for giving good style haircuts with, but today. <laughs> And that seems to take way more effort than what this tool usually takes. It seems that, well, it seems that whenever I make a video using this tool, which I've used it twice now, in both in fucking about with this, and both times it's been fucking blunt. So anyway, right, let's get this so it's roughly the same as, as this. As you can see now, it's very accurately marked to within a millimetre, so now I need to cut that down again with this. But... I'm not going to film it now. I'm going to hold it still so it cuts a little bit better and don't take like 10 minutes to do one cut. Which leaves me with a perfectly measured section um, which needs now mounting to this bit. So I need to I need to tack that onto there and now I'm going off by like eye, you know, roughly what it looked like. It was sort of around that sort of direction. So if I stick that on there, yes. And like I said, even though it is perfectly measured, um, there is a chance that it might actually not be perfect you know, in the right place. So I've only put a couple of tacks on it for now um, while I line it up. So now I need to, oh, I'm not really showing it very well, but I need to do something like that so that all this lines up, that's in the right place, this is in the right place, and that's in the right place. And then I'll tack it so I've got something like that. Right, this isn't not welded all the way around, that's not welded all the way around, but it's enough to hold it to go and see if it fucking fits. And after just launching it in the direction of the car, so it's just on in place, not, not connected to pull it up, but I'm pleased to say that it does actually fit. So now I can finish this and I love my seam weld in these joints. And that now, beautifully crafted exhaust section is now this end, well this end is now complete. So I need to go back and do this side because the tailpiece fell off as well. So first I'm gonna cut that off there, like so. And then now I've got this section, which is like, I don't know, three milli wall tube or something, which one could say is probably overly substantial for this scenario. I'm gonna feed that into there if I can. And as you can see, it is made to measure. But before I weld that onto there, I've got another thing what I've got to do. And that is... Create a hole. Yes. 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 Drillers, drillers. The kit back mad on the spin off. Yes. And now it can be welded. And that is pretty much done. I've got it with it. Our tailpipe is now stuck on to the rest of the exhaust. And we've got a hole in the bottom, and it's not just to drain all that. I don't know if anyone's noticed in the background, I've actually got, for the motorcycle exhaust, I've got a motorcycle baffle. So, this is removable, so I can put it in for now. And if I want to be an hooligan and be noisy and be a race car and shit, I can take it back out. So I'll just put that into there. And as you can see, that's still a bit warm actually, but as you can see there now, then, I put this in, like so, and it's time to put the exhaust back on to the shitter. So, I, I don't know if I'm going to, if it's worth watching this, but I thought I'll stop filming to put my light on on my phone because not only underneath a dark car, but it's now November and it's, it's, it's actually three o'clock. So it's dark, not going dark. I'm not even exaggerating, it's actually just fucking three o'clock as I'm filming this now and I'm getting wet so that needs put into there now this one oh you fucker I should have put that on top of the axle before putting that into there 
that's quite stupid. But no editing here. I'm just going to actually show the mistakes as they go so you don't have to do the same mistakes, you see. It's all a learning curve for both of us. Right, so I need to put that into there again. Right, and then I need to connect them together. But before doing that, I need to give this a healthy dose of silicon sealant around the gasket. And I mean, you put as much as you want on just as long as you put it. It's one out, yes! But it's okay because I've got another one. So, anyway, what I've done is. I don't know if you can see from here, which you probably can't see from here, but over there I have um, put plenty of silicon sealant onto the joint. So then when I connect this onto here, put that on there, like so, and then when... I'll have to move again, aren't I? And get this lined up to this joint together nice and perfectly. You know what, I'm gonna need both hands for this and I'm getting rained on and everything. And it needs to tighten up in the same way as, well, as it was before I started messing with it. Until it is tight to a designated torque setting of about this tight. And now, as you can clearly hear, I've left the silicon to dry. Got a good joint on the exhaust so it's not blowing its tits off. And um well according to the sound on the on the phone it sounds louder, but it's not, I assure you. It's actually a lot quieter. When I'm driving the car, like I'm driving the car now, and my ears aren't even bleeding. Right? I haven't got a migraine or nothing. So driving the car is significantly quieter from where I'm sat anyway. Um, I think it just sounds louder on the on the footage because there's well because it sort of does into the background noise. So I don't know, but no, it is it is a lot quieter. But anyway, let's get on to what the video is actually about. Um, I mean, I fucked about changing the exhaust, fitting the baffle, and what have you. And the video is mainly going to be well about the baffle part of it, not fixing the exhaust. Sorry. Um, so let's compare some speed runs and um, a noise testing with and without the shitter in. faster but probably not faster is um, get the correct tools for the job obviously being a mechanic and having thousands of pounds of the tools um, I'm undoing an 11 milli knot with some 11 milli span uh, pliers so I want to take this off it should just be a case of now I haven't really got the right tool to hold onto this it is a little bit warm it's quite exhausting I need to take that shitter out of there and then I just pull the back out. Now it should be back to being a nice piece of shit again. Yes. And that's suspected. That's exactly what's happened. So let's go and see how it compares. it back 
albeit with a new sort of diagnosis of fucking tinnitus. But what's happened is, you see, I used a scrap piece of exhaust to fix a scrap exhaust. Uh, well, if you look on the edge there, the scrap exhaust that I used to fix the scrap, the scrap exhaust has snapped. It's actually, like, just sheared. So I'm going to have to fix that. I'll probably put a sleeve inside it or something. I'll just, I'll just weld it back together. And and then, well, I'm not going to show any of that. I'll just fucking show it when it's back on car. But it means that I've got more work to do on this beautiful prototype exhaust. But as it currently sits, the car is actually... I'd say straight piped, but that piece of pipe isn't straight. But close enough. It's sort of straight piped. Um... Obviously all the pops and bangs and flames from the remap will come out in this direction and look sick when you are following the vehicle. But it is too noisy for me. So, like I say, I'm gonna have to weld it back up. I'll put a sleeve up the middle of something so it doesn't come off again. Oh, hopefully. And then we'll try and do the run. Yes. Uh, so ready for attempt two. Um, it's not falling off yet. I don't know how far I've driven because the LED that tells me how far I've driven has, um, has given up. So if anyone wants to see me redo the clock lights again, because to be honest, the video that I did showing how to change the clock lights, it probably didn't show it as well as it could have done. So I might do that again, because I'm going to change them probably to blue or something, I don't fucking know. Um, so if you want to see that, say it in comments. But now we can tell if it sounds any different. And, well, I'll let you listen to it. Yeah, I'll let you listen to it for yourself, but inside the car, it's a lot louder. It's a bit lot, lot deeper and a lot more drony. Comparisons, I think I'm gonna put this shitter back in. Um, so it does feel a little bit faster without it, but it's probably just because it's noisier. But I will put side by sides at the end to compare. Um, like I said, it's not actually ridiculously loud at the moment, it's just a bit drawn it, and I wouldn't want to drive well anywhere far with it like that because it would piss me off, I think. Um, so like I said, I'm gonna put this back in, which makes it a lot quieter especially inside the car so if you have got a noisy exhaust and you've fitted it and you're sort of regretting fitting it just measure well i'll show you where to measure when i'm putting it back in so measure the diameter inside the diameter and then get one of them a db killer a baffle whatever you want to call it which matches said diameter then obviously if you've got like a bend in the end of your exhaust you might have to shorten this and they work better the longer they are so we're just quieting it down and then like i said drill a hole in it like i did earlier in the video and you can shut your car up a bit um i'm gonna fit this gonna put the bolt back in which i might not be able to do on camera but i will struggle and try because because i'm good like that yes So, you can see how easy it is to do because I'm doing it with one hand here. This is all that is involved in quieting down the vehicle to an acceptable level if you don't want it noisy. You do get dirty hands at the same time though. Right, I need to get this nut on and it's not going on. Right, it's going on, yes. And obviously, we use, mine's 11 mil, so. I've got my 11mm pliers and these are adjustable pliers so if you are going to use adjustable pliers you do need to make sure that you get metric ones to work on metric nuts and bolts. Obviously metric being favourable because it is better than imperial in every single way. So that's now back in and it should be quiet again, a lot quieter. And being in my 30s and old as fuck and all that lot, um, for day-to-day -day general driving, that is just better. It is just an improvement. 
um, it's you can still hear it and it still sounds like a happy little three cylinder that it is um, but it's not screaming in your face all the time so it is just more pleasant all round um, I think that's it for this one um, like I said if you have got an exhaust and you're regretting fitting a loud exhaust there is a way of quieting it back down I mean I have been in that position years ago when I was a teenager I had um, a Volvo T5 um, and I put basically just straight through decat and similar exhaust to what's on this now I suppose but a lot louder and it sounded great for five minutes and then I had to drive somewhere in it and um, I put standard exhaust back on it so anyway like I said that's all for this one don't forget to like comment subscribe all the usual kind of carry on and uh, I'll see you next time